All right, everyone, and welcome back. My name is Tigress Lily, and welcome back to Paranoiac. Um, yeah, when we last left off, we had just woken up into our own house, outran the monster, uh, got killed by the monster, and yeah. Um, anyway, we just remembered the key we found in the basement, and this is the only door that's still locked. I think this is the only door that's still locked. Yep, where are we going? To the basement. It's so dark. Can't see anything. So I gotta find a flashlight? I didn't even... Oh no. I... Wait a second, wasn't there a drawer upstairs that had like miscellaneous stuff in it? I might have to go through all the rooms to find a flashlight. Various supplies. I was right. A flashlight. Yay. Kind of a weird staircase, though. Um, lovely girl doll, hard to believe it's handmade. Stuffed black cat. Large stuffed bear. Surely this must have been manufactured. Small stuffed bear. A stuffed bunny rabbit. A doll made of felt. It feels good to the touch. A han haniwa? Haniwa? I have no idea. A large stuffed sheep. Cat made of wool felt. I could see this being in a store. You were one creepy looking rabbit. Stuffed hamster. I want that stuffed hamster. That's adorable. A bunny with a weird design. A very weird design. Looks like like that. Looks like it's a set of three chicks. Stuffed chick. Colorful row of teddy bears. What are you? A partially sewn stuffed teddy bear, brown stuffed dog, another colorful row of teddy bears, and what the heck are you? A yellow stuffed doll, the face looks like a bulldog's. Um, interesting. What are you? There's writing on the wall. It's hard to see in the dark. Two, four, three, six. Hey, the computer upstairs required a passcode. Maybe it goes to that. Two four three six. Two four three six. Two four three six. Uh, you were the computer room, if I remember right. I do. Oh, don't go back out. Um, two four three six. There's only one file. Diary. I visited. Ugh, that's bright white screen. Uh, I visited the gynecologist today. The doctor smiled wide and said the infertility treatment must have worked. Apparently, I'm two months pregnant. Woohoo! I was so happy, I absentmindedly called him during, during work. Thankfully, he was just as glad. I should contact my sister soon. Soon, too. I went to my sister's and told her the news. As expected, she looked displeased. She accused me of having kids just so my rich husband wouldn't run away. I'm not sure when my sister came to displease me. It must have been mom and dad's deaths. And to think, I'm more grateful to her for raising me than anyone. I left my sister's house being effectively driven out. But little Minky came up to me and whis whispered, Congrats. My mom is a bitch! I've been making lots of stuffed animals lately. I'm also making clothes for the baby. I want to meet them soon. If it's a baby boy, he might not want the stuffed animals. I could give them to kids in the neighborhood instead. I haven't felt anything for a while. The baby wasn't moving anymore. I never heard its first cry. He was a boy that looked just like his father. There was a funeral and a cremation. I'm scared to talk to him. I'm terrifying of being abused as a killer. My sister laughed at me over the phone. Well, good. A shamelessly optimistic girl like you couldn't be a mother any now. He left. I couldn't. He couldn't move on with me, he said. He wanted to raise a happy family. So he left. All I have left is the house. The neighbors are spreading rumors that I'm a killer. Even the townspeop- the- even the news people on TV say I am. So do the stuffed animals I'm sewing. Everyone hates me. I'm scared. Everyone around me 
hates me. Everyone's out to kill me. I have to lock everything and hide the keys or I can't feel safe. I talked to my sister and she called me crazy. A crazy who should die. Even Miki told me to die. I think I should die too. I jumped off the second floor and broke my leg. I was taken in by the people in blue and confined by the people in white. Today, I'm finally free from the white building. Now, now's my only chance. If I'm too slow, I'll be caught again. I just need to find the rope in the storehouse. Auntie, I never wanted you to die. No one ever said that. Auntie. Damn. Don't mean to sound mean, but uh, don't mean to sound mean, but this girl's got some issues. Hmm. God damn doorbell. Mr. Miura. Hello, Miss Takamura. So, how goes it? Nothing happened, I presume? Dots. You don't believe me, huh? Huh? I'm not really surprised that you don't believe me, but... But still! Why would you be so awful as to take me back here in my sleep? Miss Takamura! Tell me if I'm a bother. You could just tell me, but this is just too cruel. Inside, you're laughing at me for saying weird things because I'm depressed, and you pretended to be helpful. Miss Takamura, calm down. I have no idea what... What? Are you still making fun of me? Calm down, please! Didn't you tell me you were going home yourself last night? Huh? Don't you remember? You woke me up in the middle of the night and said you'd be fine. I don't remember that. That, did that happen? He's standing on the couch. Huh? Miss Takamura? What's the matter? Oh, do you need to use the toilet? I'll be fine now. I'll go back home. That was rather sudden. It's late at night. You should stay. Even if it is just across the street. It's fine. After all, it is my house. Ooh. I'm being possessed? By something? Possibly? Are you sure? Well, if you say so yourself. Oh! Ooh, plot twist. That can't be. I, I didn't do that. I was sleeping all last night. Dots. Miss Tokamura. There's something I wish to say about this monster and these events. What is it? I don't think that you're lying, Miss Takamura. However, if you were being chased by a monster, there would be traces of it, as well as the hair. I found nothing of the sort when I looked around. I also checked the well, and there was no hole or cave as you said there was. What? It's true. I'm not lying. So, I was thinking. It's a dream? Could the monster you saw and the events that occurred be hallucinations or delusions? Hallucinations? Delusions? What does your depression come from? It may be your mother's hysteria, or perhaps the stress of work. 
Or perhaps it's the guilt with regard to Miss Seiki. Miss Seiki became mentally ill from the guilt of losing her child. She began to hear and see things. Perhaps you are the same way. Racked with guilt that you couldn't save Miss Seiki, and thus you see strange things. Thank you, Doctor. That's not right. It, it wasn't hallucinations. I couldn't think. But is there any other explanation? If you really are hallucinating, you need to go to the hospital. Not to disturb you, but I just don't want you to end up like Miss Seiki did. Please leave. I'll just... I'll handle it myself. Miss Takamura! Tell me, please. What do you... what do you really think? Oh! It gives me a choice. Ooh, this, this game also has alternate endings I take. Okay then, so... Which one? Is it a dilute? Which one's the bad choice and which one's the good choice? I want to get the ch good choice on the... Excuse me, on the first go-round. Um... I want to get the good choice. I want to get the good choice. I want to get the good choice. Which one's the good choice? Uh, is it just a delusion or is there really a monster? I'm going with there's really a monster. I can't even consider that it's just a fantasy. Don't say that that if you haven't seen it yourself. It, it really is a monster. Miss Takamura. Just leave. Get out. I don't want to see you, or anybody. Just stay away. Excuse me. If anything happens, I'll come running. That thing is no hallucination. It definitely exists. Phone. Hold up. I'm saving first, in a separate area. Because something tells me, because I don't want to go back and see what the other one's going to do as well. If this one's short enough, I may do it in the same episode. What? What? Hello? Hello? Miki, are you okay? What was that last call about? What happened? Dots. Miki, what is it? Are you crying? Mom, help me, please. There's a monster in this house. It's trying to kill me. You're the only one I can ask. Help me, please, come get me. I want to go home. Ha ha. <laughs> I'm not doing that whole laughter, I'm sorry. I do manical laughter enough, so, no. Mom? I just knew you were crazy. Just like she was. Having all these delusions. M Mom. I always thought you were like her. So weak and fantasizing. And you end up being a crazy too. Don't call me again. I don't want anything to do with crazies. Go hang yourself like she did. Oh my god. Wow! She won't believe me, but it's true. I'm... I'm not crazy. Wow! My mom was a right piece of work. My gosh! Day five. Now what? You didn't tell me anything about a day five. Good. You didn't tell me there was a hiding spot for day five. I hear something. Is it that monster? Where is it coming from? I'm saving again. Stop that.
Would it be in the same room that she hung herself in? Because this does seem pretty end gameish. Yep. Oh my gosh. Drip drip. It's the same dripping from my dreams! So that's what that drip 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 meant. Uh, what is this? I... it can't be. It's... My question is, is how is she bleeding? Seriously. Hanging yourself basically means you're choking yourself out. You've snapped your neck. It's not always instant. And, um... The only kind of injuries I would know would be, like, if your head popped off during the hanging. But... I don't know. Maybe the body was decomposing after a couple days, and I don't know. It didn't say how long it was after she hung herself. Ugh. I don't know. It, it can't be. It's. G gotta run. Have to. Have to hide. And the. Uh... Dang it. How? I hate games where they don't let me get to the door. <sighs> Which is odd, because I'm playing a lot of those type of games where I just keep dancing around the door. Annoying. Hmm. Whatever. Hi, auntie. So that monster that was chasing us was just my aunt. My dead aunt. The dead, decomposing body of my aunt. Oh, lord. Lordy, 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 lord. Can we speed through this dialogue? Squish. Gotta run, have to hide. There we go. Okay, yay, got out the door that time. Something tells me that this entire situation is going to end in the basement. It's a dead end. There's nowhere to hide. Lord, that's loud. Squish. So yeah, we're at the end game. No. Stay back. Stay away. How did you fall down? A bear? Minky, hey, that's my name. Yes, we see that it's Miki, stitched into this half-sewn bear. Uh, uh, th this stuffed bear. Why well, how'd the monster stop? There's literally a stuffed bear in front of it. Who is that? Is that me down there? Why do you keep reporting every little thing to me? I don't care about your child. I, my mom is a ripe piece of work. Which one's my mom? Well, there's my aunt, so I'm assuming that's the lady up there in the corner on the left-hand side, and the one with the black hair is my mom. Lovely. <laughs> I'm sorry, sister. It's just, I want to tell someone, so who else would I? My child seems quite healthy. It's a rather late birth, but... So I was anxious how it might go, but... Humph. You love to boast, don't you? About how you marry a rich man and live in such harmony. Unlike you, I'm a very busy woman. Don't bother me with your nonsense. 
My mom. My gosh. That's me as a little girl. Dawes. Auntie? Oh my. Miki. It's been a while. Are you done with school for today? Yeah. Hey, is your baby gonna be a girl? Well, I don't know yet. But I get the feeling it will be. So I'm making lots of stuffed animals. I like my aunt. She's pretty. Though, if it's a boy, maybe he won't care much care for them. I don't think so. If you make them, Auntie, I think anybody like them. Is that so? <laughs> Thank you. I know. I'll make a stuffed animal for you too, Miki. Ah, but you are in high school, so maybe you're a bit old. Nonsense. You're never old enough for a stuffed animal. N no. I'd love to have that, Auntie. Would you really? Oh yeah, I would love to have. A st I'm 21 years old, and I would love to have a stuffed animal made by somebody I really like. Of course, I'll make you a cute one. Look forward to it, especially if I had my, the piece of work that my mom is. Oh, oh, but if mom found out, I think she'd be really mad. It'll be fine. I'm sure she'll accept a present to my lovely niece. Thanks! I'm so happy! I'm actually really pretty when I smile. I really like that. She hasn't really smiled too much in this game. Thanks, auntie. Did I get the good ending? Did I do the good? Did I get the good? That's right. The stuffed bear. It was from auntie to me. I was looking forward to it, but not long after, Auntie's child died. Aww. Someone's crying. Auntie, I'm sorry. When you were suffering most, I didn't help you. I was scared of mother. I let you die, auntie. But, but, I always loved you, auntie. I wanted to meet your child, and once you finished this bear, I was going to cherish it. I even became a writer because you loved books and taught me about so many. Don't cry, Auntie. It was rough for you. It must have hurt. You hate me, don't you? Are you mad that I let you die? I, for you, Auntie, I'd do anything. You stay away from me! Why'd you walk on the bear? I love you, Auntie. Well, I died. Maimed to death by that monster. Mura. Miss Takamura! I'm assuming this is Miri again. Yep. Those are some interesting looking animals. Most of them actually look pretty good with the exception of that one stuffed ant, one bunny rabbit. Yeesh. Mr. Miura? Miss Takamura, oh thank goodness, you've come to. What are you doing in my house? In my goddamn basement? Sorry, I was so worried. You didn't answer the doorbell, so I came down here. An ambulance will be here soon. I'm so glad you came too. I shook you, but you wouldn't wake. Miss Takamura, are you crying? I remembered. I forgot so much, but I remembered someone very important. I was weak. I couldn't do anything, so I couldn't help her, but I did love her. And I'm 
very glad. So I'll be fine now. I remembered that even I, even I could be loved. Aww. Mental illnesses, man, my gosh. Since then, strange things stopped happening in the house. That's good. I was examined at the hospital and they discovered I shown signs of schizophrenia. Ugh, that's not good. I still don't know if what I saw was real or a hallucination. But now I don't really care which it was. Er, okay. I don't think I forgot anything. Ding dong. Oh, I'm not doing anything. Okay. Mr. Mira, what is it? Er, um, I heard you were leaving, so I came to see you off. So you're going back to your parents? The situation sounded complicated. Yes, I'll be going to the hospital often, and there's a kind doctor near there. I want to get better with my mom. Her hysteria is getting worse. She needs to get counseling. I see. That woman told me to die. I don't think I would be helping her. If someone told me to go die, I would basically be going like, well, screw you too. What? Ah, uh, well, it seems unfortunate we're saying farewell so soon. <laughs> don't worry. Once Mom and I are doing better, I'll come back here for sure. Really? Yes. It's my, the house my auntie left me. I'd love to live here if I could. So I see. I'm glad. He likes me a lot. I'll drive you to the station. Not many taxis come out here. Thanks a lot. That would be great. I'll be back soon, auntie. Okay then. I got the good ending, I guess. Yay! That's oh yeah, everyone. An RPG horror game made by the master Yuri, who's done a lot of really cool games. Though, honestly, I've only really seen one, and I really like it. And that's probably going to be the next one I play. So yeah. Yay! Happy endings! I wonder how long the alternate ending's gonna be. I'll probably record it once when the, I finish up this one. Just to see what it's gonna be and see how long it is. And maybe I'll tack it on to the end of this. Maybe. Yay! That was the good ending! Yay! Tell me, please, what do you, what do you really think? It's just a delusion. Maybe it isn't real. Like you say, Mr. Miura, I've never quite considered it. I'll go to the hospital tomorrow. I feel like my depression is only going to get worse, too. I'm glad you understand. I hope you get better soon. Excuse me. If anything happens, I'll come running. Yes, it's just a hallucination. It couldn't possibly exist. The hospital, tomorrow, for sure.
Phones! So yeah, anyone, this is gonna be the alternate ending. There's really only one, and that is the other decision of it is a hallucination or delusion of some sort. Hi, Mom! I'm assuming this is my mother. Hello? Miki, are you okay? What was that last call about? What happened? Dots. Miki, what is it? Are you crying? It's nothing. I was just lonely. Sorry for saying such strange things. Well, that's all right. Call me if anything happens. Bye. All right then. I can't tell her it's just a hallucination. If she did, if I did, she'd treat me just like she treated Auntie. If I go to the hospital and get treated, I'm sure I can go back to normal. Whatever your definition of normal is. Day five. So let's find out what happens in the bad end. I'm pretty sure I die a horrible death. I hear something, but it's just a hallucination. There's no monster. But where is it coming from? Oh, I know where it's coming from. I do hear something. Not sure what that is, though. It sounds a bit like dripping. Almost. Like really, really echo dripping. That's. Ah. Uh... No. This isn't real. I'm just imagining it. Thud. Yes, just a delusion. I'm hallucinating. Because of my guilt. Because, because I, I let Auntie I let her die. The noose. If I had helped her. What is that? Auntie wouldn't. I'm trying to talk around it. Have killed herself. Those flashing images are disturbing. I killed. I killed my aunt. It was my fault. Auntie. This is a fantasy. This isn't real. Squish. Eh. Now what? Um. Oh, thank goodness. I'm like, I don't read that. Novelist Miki Takamura found dead by neighbor. 2012. Lovely. Lovely. See, Mira, what? Look, see what you did. You got her killed. You got her killed for making her believe that it was nothing more than a delusion of grandeur. No, no, no. The delusion of grandeur is making yourself bigger than what you are. Um, it, by thinking it was a delusion of some sort. Mm -hmm. Granted, for the most part, 
she should have went to the hospital that day, not that night. I don't care how late it is. If you're seeing shit, or even then, if you do not feel safe in your house, have someone come over or stay with someone. Seriously, if that shit kind of happens, oh my gosh. So yeah, that was the bad end. Short.